Uh, welcome to our video. We are Group 3. I'm Grady. I'm Ashley. I'm Sydney. I'm Ashley. I'm Callie. And today we will be talking about natural causes and how they affect the Earth's climate. To start out, the Earth's climate is primarily influenced and changed through natural causes such as volcanic eruptions, ocean current, the Earth's orbital changes, and solar variations. Volcanic eruptions are powerful enough to form a global layer of sulfuric acidic haze and actually cool down the Earth's temperature. Ocean currents equalize temperatures by bringing warm, very, warm temperature to the poles and cool temperature to the equator. Earth's orbital changes in which the axis of the Earth affects the climate throughout the world and solar variations in which the Sun itself ultimately controls the biggest changes in the Earth's climate. Okay, on our next slide we are talking about volcanic eruptions. There are large volumes of sulfur dioxide, water vapor, dust, and ash that are thrown into our atmosphere when the volcanoes erupt. Aerosols are tiny particles that are produced by volcanoes they reflect solar energy, which has a cooling effect on the Earth. And the next slide is about ocean currents. El Nino is produced by many inner reactions between the ocean and the atmosphere. El Nino occurs every two to six years. Cold water moves from the poles towards the equator, while warm water moves from the equator towards the poles due to deep ocean current. Due to ocean current, the water temperatures would be less extreme at the poles and equator. The ocean current plays an important role in the atmospheric concentration by the moving of CO2 between the water and the atmosphere. Our next slide is Earth's orbital change. During the northern hemisphere's summer, the Earth is further away, causing less solar radiation. The Earth's tilt isn't always at 23.5 degrees during the average climate years. Earth's orbital change can cause positive feedback, which produces ice ages. On our next slide, we are talking about solar variation. The sun is our main source of energy, and without it, none of us would exist. Since solar variation has been a pattern since 1750, it is not the primary effect on the increase of global warming in recent years. For instance, a decrease in solar activity has thought to have triggered a little the Little Ice Age between approximately 1650 and 1850, when Greenland was largely cut off by the ice from 1410 to the 1720s, and glaciers advanced in the Alps. As you can see through our video, natural causes clearly have a large impact on our climate and can change it with forces that are almost completely out of our control and must continue to be studied and analyzed for complete understanding of our climate. Thank you for watching our video, our little video on natural causes, on natural causes of climate change. Hope you enjoyed it.